Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Maria and I make personal development content here on YouTube. And so in today's video, I wanted to speak about how God will break you down to build you up. And um, it's all a part of the plan. It's all a part of the plan. It's all part of the purpose. And um, it's something that like we really don't want to happen, but like you also, when you really start to walk with God, you almost welcome it in a sense because you realize that the deeper your pain, or I guess the deeper your the deeper you feel crushed and you feel like your world is coming down, the greater your purpose is, or like the greater your calling is. And like that gives God an opportunity to use you in a greater way, like an even even deeper way. And so um, I started thinking about this because I was just thinking about different areas of my life that I feel as though I've grown so much in, but it's only happened because I was absolutely crushed about it. So um, I think the one of the greatest examples that I always like to use because I just think that everyone really cares about this a lot is relationships and um when you are in your relationships and you are trying to figure out why you operate the way you do so for me right um I had a really 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 big tendency um in the past of when my partner was like didn't want to be up under me all the time, I it triggered like my fear of abandonment. And I was just like, no, like what's going on? And I couldn't really understand what what was going on or like why I reacted the way I did. And I'm like, I'm going to see them again. So like, why am I acting like this? But it was like devastating. Like it was really devastating. And um, it wasn't until... I got so broken down by it and I started to see how they reacted to that and how that just was not a healthy way of like attaching myself to someone and just like feeling like terrible like I felt terrible and that's when I realized that there's something else going on and that's when I started to do my research and I started to figure it out and I started to realize okay this is all from trauma, um, all from childhood. But if it was not for God allowing me to go through that and just really like me just being broken down, like relationships ending because of that, like just me just really like, like that's just like a turn off. Like it just really was unhealthy. Um, I wouldn't have been able to move more towards a secure attachment. And I feel like that helps me a lot because now I'm able to be in a healthier relationship where I'm able to communicate more healthy and I'm able to speak to what's going on and what I'm feeling and be able to also like for myself be able to like regulate my emotions in those times when like there's separation and not experience it as a loss, but experience it as just, this is brief separation. I'm going to see them again. Um, but if God didn't break me down to that point where I felt like I could even live without this person because I feel like I had spent so much time with them and I had put so much effort in with them and I just felt like how could they leave and like it was just like all this stuff it almost felt like your world was crashing if it was not for me to feel like that I wouldn't have been able to number one grow right like I wouldn't have been able to to really start looking into why am I acting like this and that's that's the first part of, of that growth. But the second and the most important part is it also helped me to see that I don't need anybody but God because he helped me through that. Like he helped me through that regardless. Like I did not have to go through all of that 
alone because God was with me the whole time. And so that is important too, to be able to know that, all right, like I'm good. I'm good. God brought me through this. Like I don't like have to worry about like being fearful that I have to go through this alone. And now if I experience another heartbreak or if something was to happen like that again, God forbid, I would know from that experience that God got me. Like, I'm good. I don't have to worry about it. I can handle it differently because I've been through this before. And so that is the importance of God, like, breaking you down to build you up. And then now it allows my purpose to be greater because now I can go into the world and I can speak to you and I can speak to my clients and I can teach them from experience and I can come on here and I can tell about my testimony and I can tell about the greatness of God and how he helped me through that. And I can talk about all the things that I had to go through in order to be to this point where I am now. But had I not been able to do that, I would not be able to have this purpose. I would not be able to have this calling. I would not be able to speak and teach about these things, right? The greater the pain, the greater the testimony. And so I really, I, I, I know it may hurt right now. I know it may feel like God, why are you putting me through this? I know it may feel like, when is this ever going to end? I know it may feel like, God, how many lessons are you going to try to teach me? I know all of these thoughts are going through your mind. But just trust and believe that God is breaking you down to build you up for his greater purpose. And it's not just always about you and things that feel good to you. You have a calling to help other people. And that's why God allows us to go through other things. Like everybody doesn't go through the same thing that I go through. You don't go through what I go through. I don't go through what you go through. You may not go through what your parents go through. Your parents may not have went through what you go through. Like everybody has a different experience, but all of our different experiences are for the greater purpose of of what God has called us to do. And so when we are going through these things at the time, it feels hard. It feels rough. It feels like, God, how much more can you break me? But just trust and believe that it's for the greater purpose. Like, I can't even explain how God needed to develop my mind, my intuitiveness, my, my, my curiosity. I needed to become more curious about why I felt so broken after God had broken me. <laughs> um, I needed to really figure out why I felt so broken in order to start understanding things deeper and why every single aspect matters. Our childhood matters. Our relationship with our parents matter. Even to this day, you will see the way you operate, the way you interact with your parents directly affects how you will raise your own kids, how you will, how do you, how you see relationships are supposed to operate, how you see relationships are supposed to work. So if you grew up with two parents in a household and they used to argue and bicker all the time, you're going to see that, like everything. So God had to give me this like clear scope. I needed to be able to see it all. And the only way I was gonna be able to see it all is if I was broken. And I was able to figure out, God, I'm broken here. God, I'm broken there. God, I'm broken here. God, I'm broken there. God, I need, I need help. I need help. And then once God broke me, 
and then built me back up. Now I can come on here and I can speak and I can teach and I can guide and I can give lessons and I can talk to my clients and I can encourage my clients and I can be a testimony to my clients about how things will turn around. But not only the way they will, not only the fact that they will turn around, but the fact that I have the, I have the resources, I have the tools to show you how they were able to turn around for me. And now I'm going to ask you to implement these and apply these. And, and I'm going to encourage you throughout this process. And I'm going to make sure that you know that growth, growth is not linear, but it goes like this. And sometimes it goes like this too. Sometimes you get pulled back to pull, be put set up. So you get a setback to be set up. All of those things are important in the breakdown. All of those things. Is God showing us that, okay, we still got some more growth to do, but how will we ever know where we need to be? How will we ever know what areas we need growth in and what areas we may potentially be able to help others in if we don't even allow the process to happen? So although it hurts, you got to be broken. Although it hurts, the more that it hurts, the greater your purpose, like the greater your testimony, the greater your calling, the greater the purpose. Like, I just like, please hear me when I say anything that you're going through right now, it has purpose. God is not a God that he like just allows us to experience things just to hurt our feelings. No, it's for his purpose. It's for his purpose but you got to be willing to go through them and you got to be not only willing to go through them but also gain the lesson so that you can apply it and then you got to be obedient and teaching it to others and that is really all i wanted to come on here today and talk about i really hope that this was helpful for you i really hope this was encouraging or encouragement to you um if you're going through a storm and you're you feel like you're going through hardships you feel like you're you're not understanding why god is doing it this is why god is doing it this is why god is doing it and as long as you are willing to be broken um your testimony will be so much greater your being able to help people will be so much greater. Your purpose will be so much greater because you can speak exactly to what that person is going through because you've experienced it for yourself and you're able to show them and teach them that there's something greater coming on the other side of it. That's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check the description box down below. I have some links down for you. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.